seems at times Jesus was ignorant. In fact, when they give an example of this, there's only one they can use, and that is. all of the attributes of God while being a human walking this earth and yet many people point to the fact that it seems at times Jesus was ignorant in fact when they give an example of this there's only one they can use and that is when Jesus says in Matthew 24 verse 36 no one knows the day of the hour only the father not even the son nor the angels in heaven and people use that to say Jesus was able at times to use his divine knowledge and at other times his human knowledge and in this instance he was speaking out of his ignorant human knowledge. Quite a few problems with that though. No man knows when this will happen and yet the whole chapter is Jesus answering the question, when will this happen? And he gives some very specific details about it. It's not as if we can think Jesus doesn't know what the future holds. Not only did Jesus give some very, very specific details in answer to the disciples' question of when, he seems to give such detailed answers that we can actually track through history, especially the first century, because of what Jesus said in verse 34 that this generation will actually witness these things happening that Jesus has actually given a very clear time frame the generation being 40 years and the events that he described must take place he said within that 40 years so what are we to make of verse 36 where Jesus said no man knows the day the hour only my father in heaven not the son of man nor the angels what do we do with that well, firstly, that word no, in this instance, I'm going to suggest, and it's not a new suggestion, it doesn't mean no in the sense of knowledge, it means no in the sense of authorise. Here's why I think that's the case. To suggest that Jesus was ignorant in any way is unavoidably to undermine his claim to deity. Secondly, while we might be able to draw a very long bow and suggest that Jesus was speaking out of his ignorant humanity, you can't do that for the Holy Spirit. Because if no man knows the day of the hour, only my Father in heaven, not the Son of Man, nor the angels in heaven, what about the Holy Spirit? You see, how do you explain that the Holy Spirit doesn't know either, if you take this interpretation? But if we take that that word no means authorize, which is consistent with Matthew's use of that word in other places, for example, Matthew chapter seven, then what Jesus is saying is that it is the Father who authorizes these events, not the Son, not the angels, not the Holy Spirit, it's the Father. The other aspect to this is that many people assume Jesus is describing the events of his return. The Greek word parousia does not mean return. It means appearing or coming. And so the expression second coming has been coined, even though it's not in the scripture. And so when Jesus is describing his coming it's an old testament expression that was well established that spoke of god's coming in judgment and this coming in judgment is an expression that jeremiah used the psalmist used and others have used to speak of god coming in judgment to bring people to account that seems to be what's happening here. I'm not suggesting that scripture doesn't teach Jesus will return. I think that's described in Matthew chapter 25, not Matthew chapter 24. So if we 
think that Jesus is saying he's ignorant, we are saying his divinity is undermined.